but she had no color. She was, she was leaving us. Now at 11, a Bay Area mother under arrest in one of the worst cases of child abuse imaginable. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Wendy Ryan. And I'm Jamison Euler. Tonight, the paternal grandparents of that 17-month-old baby girl are talking to us about the granddaughter who was reportedly kept from them all this time. As we go live to our Jacqueline and Glace, there are some graphic details we want to warn you about. Jacqueline. Jameson, I spoke with this little girl's paternal grandparents tonight who are hoping and praying this precious little baby survives. And right now, all they want is to have her in their arms. On Monday, deputies doing a welfare check say they found baby Isabella suffering from starvation and hypothermia. Her living conditions are described as deplorable. It's not how the Macer family ever imagined they'd see their 17-month-old granddaughter. Isabella has no skin on her bottom or her thighs from laying in her own human waist. She has a hole in her face right here that they're not even sure what that's from. Her brain is shifted to one side of her head. Deputies arrested her mother, 22-year-old Alyssa Skinner. They say she repeatedly left the baby in a closet with the air conditioning extremely low. So low, the baby curled up into the fetal position to stay warm and got stuck in that position. Doctors couldn't even straighten her legs when they sedated her. You think, what could I have done differently? What should I have done? The Macers say they and their son, who's Isabella's father, were fighting to get visitation rights as his custody case moved through the courts. They'd arranged to see Isabella at Christmas, but at the last minute, they say Skinner canceled. So already she's putting on the brakes that she doesn't want to see us. The Macers tried tracking Skinner down, but couldn't find her or their granddaughter. They thought Skinner was afraid she would lose custody. Skinner allegedly told deputies she abused her baby because Isabella, with her strawberry blonde hair and blue eyes, reminded her of the Macer family. That she looked like me and that she looked like my son, and that's why she did this. Tomorrow afternoon, Rhonda Macer is heading to All Children's Hospital, where she'll finally get to meet her granddaughter. We're live tonight in Citrus County. Jacqueline Inglace, ABC Action News. Thank you, Jacqueline.